it's Heather with Ideas to Come, and I haven't been around doing videos for a while. I've had so much stuff going on, and that's usually what happens to me. I get overloaded with work and other stuff, and um, so I can share all of that with you later. Um, I do have a new craft room, and it's kind of crazy because the last video I made about my craft room was organizing it. And then I took t a couple of weekends and just t to have, now I have a new craft room. Anyways, you know me and um, tools and I haven't been on YouTube watching um, what's new and what's out there. Um, so I'm a little bit behind everything, but I saw this and I was like, yes, yes. Um, I love, we are memory keepers. That's, I have so many tools from we are memory keepers I love their stuff and um, I remember seeing the misty and I thought oh man that's such a cool tool I love that and I thought wow the price was crazy I think at the time it was like 70 or 80 dollars or 90 dollars or something I was like uh, no that's not gonna happen and I've been trying to keep myself from purchasing things that's the other reason why I haven't been around <laughs> lately um, but uh, this is the precision press by we are memory keepers and I know I'm probably upside down because of my new craft room I doing it different so um, but this is how it comes it does have a real easy open back here but you know with me it's just excitement and so I just cut around everything but it 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 comes with it comes like this so let me take it out of the package and it comes with some instructions on the back um, I also purchased this stamp set by we are memories keepers I saw them on blitzy um, that's where I always usually see everything because they hit me up and um, I just realized I don't have my glasses on and oh my gosh, you know, I'm getting older. So, and I'm looking at some changes for my YouTube world. So I will share those with you later too as well. It says ideal for and re-inking stamps for full coverage, layering stamp designs, multi-print print run projects so you know if you're gonna have a lot of stuff to do and I can't remember how much I paid for it it wasn't no $90 I think it was like 16 or 14 or something I can't even remember but I was like thrilled I was like yes um, the company I love has made that one and so I looked at some different things as well as the misty some different videos and the one thing that I did notice another company has this also um, and I can't remember the name I'll put it down below but the thing about this one is that it has this little um, the way the edge is right here and I just realized that I moved all my paper so I do not know where my cardstock is um, I'm just gonna oh no that's not it oh my goodness here we go so when you put your paper in on the other the other two brands they don't have this open on this side so you're limited to just this and you have to cut your paper to fit this way you can um, just have more room and it's nice and sorry about this paper but you know that's me anyways and so I saw these flowers and I thought these were kind of cool too so I'm gonna try um, using one of these because they came out together and oh it has something here I'm sprite probably supposed to use this for something um to line it up or something maybe I don't know anyways it has this little um it has this little thing here so I'm not sure but I'll look into that share that with you later but I just wanted to show you this because you know me and tools and then of course I don't grab this is this is see I grabbed a, a block I don't need a block um, so and I'm surprised my inks are still juicy but they are so basically you can figure out where you want your stamp am I in frame 
on the paper let's say I want this to go here and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this but I know like me somebody's out there has not so um, then you just pick it up and it is Cricut and so I'm gonna pick up one of my favorite Blackberry Bliss from Stampin' Up there goes my light I don't know why it's doing that and so I'm gonna stamp it up and of course I get mess all over the place and then press it down and there it is but it's not dark enough for me so I want to uh, make it a little bit darker so I'm gonna re-ink it up put it back in its place Voila! and I moved I actually moved this paper so that's the only thing about that I think and I did have some spray here but um because I don't ooh I don't want to get that all over okay so I don't want all that left on my um stamp and as well that so that's one stamp um my baby wipes dried up so I'm using a spray but there's that one and I don't know about that. I really don't know about that one. So I'm gonna try a different one. And I opened up my, um, one of my binders where, thank goodness I have some of these things organized from the last clean, the last craft room deal because I was able to find my, um, the Stamps of Life uh, binder so that I could, um, so I guess the only thing is um, with this is your paper might move. So you're going to have to, oops, you're going to have to keep your paper in line. And I guess that's the difference. The other ones have magnets and this one does not which I like magnets and I like that whole idea, but I'm, I'm gonna have to say that even though this doesn't stay still and I have to actually hold it in place, I don't mind because it'll go right back into place, no problem. Not dark enough. Try it again. Put it back in place. Hopefully it's in the same spot. And maybe I just didn't press down enough. And my and these stamps are really, really sticky because I've never used them. So um, <laughs> so there it is. And see, I missed that top part of that. Let me try it again. The top part of that bicycle tire. Why? I don't know, but let's try that again. Place. It'd probably be easier if my paper wasn't bent. Ah, there it is. Awesome. That's not my um my spray for that. I shouldn't be using that, but that's what I got for right now. So I am using that. So that came out pretty good, I think. Hope you can see that. Hope my light is on it. Because I'm covering up, I have my my even my um, lights are all wacky. So there it is. I love this. I love it. I love it. I don't care if it doesn't have magnets. I like the fact that it's open ended. Um, has this cute pattern on the back. So I really like this, and I am so thrilled because. And honestly, I'll have to see if I can find what, what I paid for this on Blitzy. And I'm sure they still have them. Um, but uh, I love it. So, And you guys know me and tools, those of you who know me. Um, I love tools. So this is uh, the latest for me. The We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press for your stamping. And it does have grid lines. And it does have rulers on both the top and the bottom. So I can zoom you in so you can see that. And you can see where I haven't cleaned that properly. But it does have the numbers. So 
super cool. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And like I said, it does come with these um, instructions on the back, which are really, really nice. So if I've told you anything wrong, there it is. But I will be back. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos more often because I have a lot going on. I've had a life a lifestyle change and I want to share that with you guys. I know this is a crafting channel and I know some people don't like that when you um, talk about other things on the crafting channel. Um, it's been a while. I miss all my friends on YouTube and um, I want to share those things with you and I may just turn this channel into... Um, ideas to come not just ideas about crafting or crafting tools because I'm going to start um, downsizing on that part of it um, I kind of feel like I've lost my edge and lost my um, creativity um, in that stump and it's been a long one so um, it's kind of scary for me because I love to craft and I just I don't know so but I will be back and I'm sure I'll have something good to share with you whether it be crafting ideas or crafting tools or um, the other parts of my life so stay tuned please come back to my channel and um, I'll be sharing all the life goings on with you guys that's going on with me and that's another thing being able to be vulnerable and share everything it's not something that I'm used to um, I wasn't raised that way so it's different for me but it's difficult for me <laughs> but I will do it I will do it and I'm going on and on and on rambling and I'm sure I'll get a comment about that I have before <laughs> but thank you all for joining me today and I hope you'll come back and spend some more time with me and I'll talk to you all soon bye for now